This video demonstrates how to create a, a grammar in Improviser. The advantage of a grammar is that one can generate solo over virtually any tune uh, that will em emulate the style of a particular performer, even oneself. So for example, here is a tune, Blues for Alice, that was composed by Charlie Parker. And we can go to the improv menu and look at choose grammar. You can see in that menu a large number of grammars, some of which been, have been constructed by hand, others of which have been learned using machine learning that's built into Improviser. And so uh, this is illustration will demonstrate how a grammar, let's say the Tom Harrell grammar, can be used to improvise a solo over this tune. Just by pressing a button. So that's how grammar is used, but now let's see how we can use improviser to create a grammar, either from a corpus of one or more transcriptions of a solo from an artist or even from yourself. So as an illustration, let's first go to the improv menu, grammar control, and then we'll select the tab that's grammar learning. This tab consists of a number of different colored patches that are essentially buttons that one can press to do the learning. And so uh, in this case, we'll just use the empty grammar as a base. One has to start with some kind of a base. Uh, <clears throat> and this is the one we'll choose here. And then we'll say save as, and we'll give a name for our grammar. So since I'm going to use my own solos for this grammar, I'm just going to save it as Bob Keller grammar. And then there are some parameters that one can set. For the most part, we can just leave those alone, uh, not experiment with them at this time. And then we need to select a corpus of solos from which to learn in the third button. And so the corpus we'll choose is one that I've set up in advance called Solos for Grammar Learning. It consists of four uh, constructed solos, all by me. And so uh, the, the grammar learning, the grammar that's learned, will uh, emulate the style that's present in these solos. And it could tell me something about the way I think about constructing solos as a, as a byproduct. So that will be our, uh, our set of solos. And we just have to pick one of those. Uh, and it will use the entire uh, directory of solos as the corpus from which to learn. So now we press the Open button. And the learning process begins, as evidenced by the spinning wheel that you see. This takes a little bit of time. Uh, notice that the solos that, from which we're learning do not include this tune, but yet we'll still be able to apply the result, resulting grammar to this tune or any other tune. So learning takes a while, depends on the size of the corpus, some of those solos have uh, multiple choruses in them. And uh, I think most of those solos I have uh, listed under the improviser playlist on YouTube. So you can you can check out the solos themselves and what, what went into them. When the process is complete, we will see the screen change. It will bring back the buttons that from which we started with the uh, grammar learning and it will invite us to save the grammar that we have have learned and then we can test the grammar over an actual tune okay so the process is now complete we click this button to save the grammar and then by pressing the green button we will uh, 
use the grammar to play over the last lead sheet that was open, which happens to be the lead sheet for Arigen. So um, we will press that button just to give it a, an initial test. Okay, so now the grammar that we have learned will not show up immediately in the grammar menu. We need to restart the program. So let's just check that. Um, choose grammar. Okay, so Bob Keller grammar is not there yet, but the next time we launch the program, it will show up. So I'm now relaunching Improviser. And we'll go back to our most recent tune that we were looking at, which was, was uh, Blues for Alice. And now we should be able to select our own grammar. And improvise using it. there's a slight delay between choruses. That depends on the complexity of the grammar <clears throat> and the amount of uh, space that we have to fill. That can be adjusted by pressing this lead, giving us a little bit more lead time before the next chorus to generate that chorus. So this can be feathered. Seven five. That that represents the number of beats. So the chorus is generated in that last three quarters of a beat. Okay, still not quite enough. Let's try going up to one one beat. Even that's not enough. That seems to be about the right number, so it's one and a half beats are required to generate the next chorus for this particular tune using this particular grammar. This concludes our demonstration of how to create a grammar and use it in improviser.